Direct Selects are a programming tool that we can open in a tab and set up in a variety of ways. Direct Selects can be used for many objects, such as groups, palettes, presets, and more. Let's take a look. Let's first open up our Direct Select window, and then we can talk about what those are. Let's add a tab. Direct Select is here in the bottom left. And you'll see we get two rows of tiles that give us choices as to what we can populate our screens with. For the moment, let's choose groups and color palettes. Direct selects are a great tool for programming and running shows that can let you quickly select targets and groups without necessarily knowing their channel numbers or target numbers. They are especially helpful with a touchscreen, although they will work just fine with a mouse as well. So for example, I could select specials, and you'll notice that posts group one on my command line, and say full to turn on group one. I can turn on my three side lights. So from a command line perspective, this is exactly like posting those group numbers on the command line, except I have the convenience of not needing to memorize my group numbers. Let's turn those off with clear sneak enter. I can also call up palettes in this fashion. So I can grab my LED psych, put that in dark blue and say full enter. I can switch it to orange or magenta with the touch of a button. The command line will always follow what the direct selects are doing. And I can use a combination of keypad and command line if I want to. For example, I could say, I want all my movers except with my minus key, my VL2Ks and I could turn those on. If I need to add additional commands after my direct select, I can use the shift button. So for example, here, I could say all movers, hold shift, press green, and now I could add, for example, say a sneak command in order to sneak in that green color. Direct selects can be populated with channels, groups, palettes, presets, and many other things as well. We have several configuration options available located in the gear tab, like other places on the console. Here I can choose how many banks of direct selects. Each bank can be a different group of information. For example, here I might put focus palettes and here I could do my beam palettes. I can change the size of those banks. So I could reduce the number of rows, say down to two and I could increase my columns to 12. I can toggle on and off several of the buttons over on the right hand side. I can even move those buttons over to the left, depending on my preference. I have a few other options down here, such as using the color swatch. This applies, of course, only to color palettes. I can maximize the button size to make them a little easier to grab on a touch screen. Like our live and playback status display screens, I can take my settings that I've created here and save them as my default so that when I open up new tabs, it will use those settings. Feel free to play around with these and find what works best for you in your space.